Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Lesson 8. Scrum Estimation. Welcome to Lesson 8 of Simply Learn's Agile Scrum Training Program. In this lesson, we explore how estimation is done on Scrum projects. There is a lot of, at times excessive, importance attached to the process of estimation, which is often over the top. Scrum establishes simple techniques of coming up with quick but reliable estimates, with the added advantage of being able to refine the estimates from the actual experience of working on sprints. Let us begin with the agenda of this lesson in the next slide. Agenda We will now look at the detailed agenda for this lesson. We start off by setting up some first principles that guide us through the process of estimation on Scrum projects. We then look at different types of estimates that are done at various points on a project. The classification could be on the basis of the method used to arrive at the estimates or the confidence level we have in the estimates. Next, we will look at the units of measuring size of software, typically on an Agile project. We use either story points or ideal days to express the size estimate. Then we talk about the techniques of estimation that are commonly used on Scrum projects. Here we focus on two techniques called planning poker and affinity estimation. We will now start off by looking at the principles behind Scrum estimation. Principles behind Scrum Estimation Let us establish some common ground before diving into techniques or units of estimation. The first thing to understand is that an estimate is, after all, an estimate. It is a forecast, a guess based on available information. It is neither a life or death matter nor a sentence to live with for the rest of the project. Accuracy and precision are terms that do not go well with the term estimation. Achieving precision in estimates is neither possible nor necessary. As long as you are able to forecast with reasonable certainty and come up with a predictable plan, you should be fine. The team which is actually doing the work should have the last word in finalizing estimates. Others are free to have an opinion and they are allowed to ask clarifying questions 